we'll discuss about this 25 25 meter rod is connected d this d point and shown in b moves this b moves left left move and also vv equal to 24 and also here we have to calculate the a b and d and e this instantaneous center point and we have to increase the perpendicular line and as it is intersect we are considering this intersecting point c and we apply the formula here has a ps unit but we are considered in this solution in this problem in this unit okay v b equal to this from to the intersecting point this is the angular velocity of that rod and velocity of that point into bc that means um, we have to find out the angular ab that means 24 divided by 20 this 20 how this 10 plus 10 then 1.2 meter per second okay and b point b v if i v b v v equal to uh, we know this velocity is going through the this way and this way uh, we are considering here this point and this point is going is perpendicular just draw and this and this intersect point in the C prime and this one is the E and this I are considering E prime and this one is D and this one is D prime because we have to calculate the E velocity and that's why we, we are considering this intersecting point and now we know omega de into the intersecting point is the um, d c prime we don't know this one also we don't know this one that's why we have to put the, the parallelogram or uh, combination law this is the uh, we know the d c prime mm, d e prime divided by d d prime and that one is the this uh, we have to know the dc prime and dc equal to we know dc this is the rectangular this is 10 and this 7.5 then we know the 12.5 into d e prime this is d e prime this is the 20 20 divided by d d prime this means d d prime this 7.5 uh, from this calculation we note 13 33.33 meter and now we'll get the omega d e this is the uh, d v also here we not on the v d we that's why we have to this and omega a v into and dc here we know the dc uh, omega we know 1.2 and dc is the 12.5 and then what is the 15 meter per second just we'll put here then 15 divided by and 13.33 okay then we'll get the 4.5 radian per second this is the angular velocity of d also we have to call uh, input we have to input the another uh, relation and that term is the c prime e prime divided by c d prime equal to d e prime divided by d d prime we have to know the d okay 
d equal to sorry c prime e prime equal to c d prime c d prime we know 10 into d prime is 20 divided by d d prime to 7.5 that and is the 26.67 meter and now we have to know the uh, this and um, pe p equal to no uh, de into c prime e we don't know this the c equal c e equal to we know uh, that one will be c prime e will be c prime e will be uh, this one this one we know the total we know the total this c prime e prime also we know the 25 uh, this total also we know the 10 then we can know easily in this 15 this is the 25 minus such a minus uh, 10 then we'll get that 15 just we'll put here 25 26.67 minus 15 that means 11.67 meter just we'll put here and an angular velocity we know 0.45 into an 11 point this one is the instantaneous center distance from ve point six uh, meter per second ve this is our desired value okay okay i think it it has been clear to you so you if you have any confusion you can write down in comment thank you for watching please subscribe my channel